we have another option now with this 1.4 version uh, of using what they call art text. So again, I'm going to select my uh, fonts and that that I had before. Only this time, I'm going to say use use art font and check. A menu appears and you have all sorts of options. So I I selected uh, the left double wave and click OK and OK again. I could change the text color if I want from this menu so we might just make it red this time. Click OK, OK again and generate. Now you have very fancy art text. Change it to a complex fill and generate. And as you can see, you've actually set the wave onto a curve. If you don't like what you've done there, then just use your undo button and go back to your text and change to something else. So we could change it to the double arches and click OK, OK again and generate. Select my text. I'm going to change it to a complex fill and generate. I'm going to hit my space bar. I'm going to go to complex fill and I'm going to select a pattern. And I might try the wave pattern. I'm going to click OK, apply, OK again and generate. And there we have my fancy pattern. Again, if I don't like the colour, I could just change it to something that shows the pattern up a little better. And that's what you call using the art font. I'm just going to add a border at, uh, on the top and the bottom of this text just to make it a little bit more like a monogram. So I'm going to select my arc tool. And I'm just going to click on the left hand side and left click on the right hand side, move my cursor into the middle and just drag that up a fraction. And I'm going to hit enter and generate. I'm going to move my in point to one end, my out point to the other end. Whilst it's selected, I'm just going to change the color to orange. Hit my space bar and I'm going to change my line to a motif border. I'm going to go to my motifs, use motif A and I'm going to use my uh, SQ9 motif, select use motif B and select my SQ CQ8 motif and I'm going to change them the, uh, the X and the Y to 9 and the column space to 9 again on the other motif. I'm going to open my layout panel and I'm going to just change that so that my motif are up the same way. Close, apply and click OK. And now you see that we have a nice curve over the top. Whilst that's selected, I'll do it to Control C and Control V. I'm going to flip it and move it down so that it's underneath. I'm going to flip that again so that my running stitch, my jump stitch goes the other way. I'm going to select both of them by holding down my shift key, my control key, sorry, and I'm going to line them up uh, to the right, sorry, to the left. Okay, still not exactly how I want it, so I might manually move that to line them up. That is actually closer there than it is there, so I might just double click and just rotate it a fraction. And the same with that one, double click on it and just rotate it a fraction. Okay, now I'm going to select everything and generate. Now I've got my ABC in the center and my motif around the edges. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed these quick lessons on using text in generations.